You are listening to a Radionomy station. Radionomy station. I've experienced a marathon training session. Whether you're a complete freak or just need a refresher, we'll let the fuse of your piloting passions and make sure you don't end up a space dust.
Well, we've got plenty of things coming up that we've got planned. We've got our massive... Now, this is this is going to be a slightly different convoy because it's considerably longer than just one run to Hutton Orbital, so... Uh, well, no, no, we say longer. Well, it will be. We mean further. Well, no, because the one thing that you have forgotten, dear sir, the one thing you have forgotten, where are the mugs? Oh, no, no, no. You see, this, this, okay, well, uh, can we w- wind back to the start? Yeah. Let, let's rewind for everybody who hasn't been paying any attention whatsoever for the last two days. Um, in a couple of weeks' time, on the 6th, approximately, this isn't a leak, um, it might change, uh, 1.4 is going to drop on us, the CQC update's going to drop on us, um, with all the updates and the mugs. And in our infinite wisdom, we put together a one-day convoy set for the 10th, which is the Saturday, because everybody wanted time to put families to bed and make up with their wives before they came and joined us. Yes. Um, and, also, and yes, there are also four ones. days' worth of prep for this convoy that we're about to talk about. Um, we don't really expect to be doing the one-and-a-half-hour flight at the point we do convoy kickoff. no. Um, I'm pretty sure people can start doing that from the 6th onwards. Well, this is... Okay, so... I was just suggesting that because there's going to be a number of people that maybe that'd be the first time they've got the game downloaded. It could take them a couple of days. Might be the weekends on. So, uh, it might be... I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we can do a sort of uh, pre... Sort of smaller convoy then to go out and pick up our mud, mugs and then meet somewhere. But it's just... We obviously haven't got quite the details finalised yet. Oh, no, we do. We, well, the, 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 the plan is, the plan that we've publicised to the guys is that between the 6th and the 10th, we have a couple of commanders who are coordinating some big tankers going to load up with mugs. Um, they're helping us. We can't do this on our own, and the idea being that we are going to publish the details of where we're meeting and where we're going and where we're stopping and who's coming um, pretty close to the day to avoid the pirates. But one of the things we've got some help with is everybody's stocking up on mugs before the tents. That's the master plan, I think, as it goes at the moment. Um, we have a couple of commanders, and in fact, if I just switch over to, hang on a second, the official forums, we have uh, Commander Javert, who is at the moment um, testing with a Type 9 and a bunch of truckers uh, whether the limpets are working in the beta and actually getting ready for loading up. So we've, we've got a team out there already practicing for us who are filling up on mugs. I'm just saying, you know, well, it, it just because we might have some mug uh, filling duties for some of the larger ships, we may need some smaller ships, larger ships with some, uh, what would you call them? Uh, limpets, a collector limpets, and maybe we can meet them out at Hutton Orbital. So there's plenty of things to arrange. If you are with a group of friends now that you've made some new friends, hook up with them. Pirate activity is low at the moment. It's very low. The road to Hutton is far safer. So when 1.4 drops, don't be frightened to wing up with some of your new friends. Go out there. If they have a large ship, it may well pay dividends to take turns going to the station buying stock, dropping it, let that large ship stock up until you fill it, and then we have a massively heavy convoy. Now, when we arrive at the other end, that uh, particular commander will then be set to make an absolute fortune, or he may choose to drop some of these out. It just allows you to load up and uh, get past that 30 quantity, because if you can get 30 out of there at a time, you could fill an anaconda with 10 docks, approximately 300 tonnes. Maybe a little bit more? Yeah, I, I reckon it's... We, yeah, we reckon about that. I mean, there's a 10-minute respawn, I think, between you getting your allocation of mugs and the next lot appearing in the station. So one of the things the guys uh, are looking at in the beta is whether that actually works um, and how quickly we can fill up an anaconda. Um, but, yeah, we, we need little ferry ships. We need the big anacondas. We need everybody to bring their own allocation of mugs as well. Yeah, because you want to make money, guys. We're going to make money. This is going to be the treasure fleet. This is going to be the mug fleet. And don't forget, while you are picking up all these mugs, there's gin as well. So take advantage of the wonderful rares on offer at Hutton Orbital. Take full advantage. Load your ships to the gunnels in preparation for the convoy. Then we will meet up and we will go and we will all celebrate 
an amazing amount of. In fact, it's just. I'll get the drinks, right? I'll put the money behind the bar from the from the mugs that I bring. I'll put the money behind the bar, and we can just party at our destination station. So the the master plan. I mean, the the, the story behind this is obviously these mugs do some fun, funny ass things in Frameshift Drive. Um, they they vibrate, they resonate, they warm your drink up, and they are somehow connected to these poor little children in the station and making them all feel better. Um, we are currently we have a wing of commanders out there searching for a system conveniently at maximum profit distance uh, with a scientific research base in it um, and a nav beacon on route about halfway so we're looking 160 to 190 light years away from Hutton and we are planning we, at the moment we have 52 yeah 52 ships agreed to join us plus random ones who haven't told us about it yet um, and we're going to be taking just the same as the Hutton convoy we're going to be assembling at a location that's sh at the moment it's top secret don't tell the pirates if they're listening please tune out now um, but we're taking these mugs, we're meeting up at a safe zone around a station, so we're not meeting at Hutton, we're going to meet somewhere nearby, which is nice and safe, and they can't kill us while we're assembling. We're then going to, in a timed launch, head off, if you've ever watched that Battlestar Galactica every three minutes doing a jump, otherwise people are going to kill you, that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming to take a convoy on a, a decent route with some military cover out to this top secret research station. We have organised a nav beacon en route where we are going to be met by a refuelling team. So we are going to be met by some guys, hopefully from the Fuel Rats. Um, with Fuel Limpets, we're going to drop out at a nav beacon. They're going to refuel us. Um, we're hoping the pirates don't know where that is, though I cannot promise that. And then we're going to jump on from there to the final destination. And the idea is we are a bunch of salmon swimming up the stream and there are some bears trying to claw us out the stream. That's as simple as it gets. And... As per usual, we will be broadcasting for the duration of said convoy, and it will be awesome fun. We want your involvement. If you're capable of doing Twitch streams or captures, we want you to give us that information and Twitch from your machine. Everybody has a story to tell, and we want those stories to be told, and we want them to be shared, and this is going to be a massive convoy. Just imagine that you are right at the back. You missed the first jump, and you've got less than three minutes to catch up with the convoy convoy before their next jump. You don't know where their next jump is going to because it will only be revealed at that time when we do the jump. So we land in a nice new section. We know where we're going next and we broadcast that out to the rest of the ships. You set your coordinates. The three minute countdown starts and then we jump. Don't get left behind. Now you've got to come and play with us because it's going to be awesome. You've just got to come and play. It's going to be right. <clears throat> Sorry. And the best bit about this is that it's not just for the guys in open. We're designing this whole thing so that it doesn't matter if you're in the Mobius PVE group, your own little private group, you're in solo. Uh, we're broadcasting live through the whole thing and you can actually come and join in. Fly along with the convoy even if you're not in it. Uh, listen live to the radio. We'll call out the destinations. The only bit you're going to know when we start is the nav beacon destination and the final destination and we're hoping you're going to get there the npcs um the system we're going into is probably going to be an anarchy so you know we're hoping the npcs are going to provide a little bit of trouble just for the solo players as well but it doesn't matter you don't have to do it in open you don't have to do it in a group you know you can do it in solo if you want we prefer you to join us because seeing that line of ships behind us when we take off in a convoy is something special it's awesome. It is awesome. Now, uh, we will try and run some reminders on the run-up to the convoy so that you don't hear the convoy's about to go and uh, you've not got any mugs because that would be a catastrophe. So we will try and remind you at regular intervals as the beta has finished and the full release is released. We will start on the reminders. Please pick up your mugs. This is a message for Ricky Retardo. Please pick up mugs. Also, Helen, make sure you're in gear. Before we see Engage Hyperdrive, make sure you've got it in forward and we'll all be sweet. Uh, we're just going to take a quick jump to some adverts and we'll be back to talk about what's happening tonight in the next sort of 10-15 minutes. So join us back here in 2 Minui. Cut an orbital radio. Turning you on. To go the whole way. <laughs> 
I say, old chap, isn't it early to be drinking? Centauri Megajin, don't mind if I do. Oh, bugger, I appear to have dropped my cocktail stick. Centauri Megajin, for the gentleman in you. Nobdal paint a horrific picture. Hundreds of people scooping scalding hot coffee into their mouths, blistering fingers and ruining manicures. Males walk bent double after spending minutes at a time bent over a water fountain, and the children are turning blue and purple from the artificial colours contained in the fruit punches that have to be made in the bathtubs of the destitute. It doesn't have to be this way. A donation of just 100 tons of scrap will give a family of four one fully functioning mug. But don't take our word for it. Wanda Arbit was a resident at Hutton Orbital. I used to have to get out of the bed two days before I needed a drink just to make the point two two light year trek from a mug. And these were poor quality mugs that would often break on the journey home, leaving me with no choice but to scoop my afternoon tea into my mouth with my hands. My toothbrush would stick to my sink and my teeth would be on the floor covered in cat fur and rabbit droppings. This sorry situation can't continue. Please help Hutton create its own mug in just 90 minutes of your time. Just load up with scrap and head over to Hutton and click the big silver donate button on the bulletin board. And you can be proud that you saved people like Wanda from having furry teeth. So please, give us all your fucking scrap. I just realised I need to reiterate that Hutton Orbital does not need your fucking scrap anymore. Please don't take your scrap to Hutton. I need to update these advert lists. We are knee deep in scrap. They've got plenty scrap of scrap. Scrap is overflowing everywhere. The yeah, it, the, the station is blocked with scrap. We have a little message here from Watcher. Watcher, how's that? Is my uh, my volumes a little bit better for you over there? Are they? Is that a little bit better? Can you hear me? Is that a, is that, is this more more of your volume? Oh, crikey. Crikey. So, Dave, why are we here tonight? Right, well, apart from reading the news, um, playing our excellent sponsorship messages from Lake on Spaceways, um, we're also here to talk about CQC and the mayhem that's uh, dropping on us uh, on the 21st of September. Uh, coincidentally, my birthday. Um, enough coincidences on these things at the moment. Um, so... At the moment, everybody in beta is testing the CQC, and we're having uh, a few troubles matching up because there aren't enough people in there. So Frontier and their infinite wisdom, uh, timing it with uh, things like the EGX Expo that they're doing, uh, details available now, um, are launching Mayhem. They're inviting absolutely everybody, and their cat, and their missus, and the next-door neighbour, to come and join them to load test their servers in effectively an open beta test for the last uh, two weeks, I think, a week and a bit of the, the the beta program before it goes live. Um, we've decided that we need some practice, some combat practice, and we have been given the opportunity by Frontier to put together a team that they're going to broadcast live through their stream to their customers uh, if they think we're good enough, um, potentially taking on some of these dastardly pirates. So this evening is our first go at multi-streaming between goodness knows how many guys uh, on Twitch, live on CQC, um, yeah, straight after this uh, radio broadcast. Yeah, so we are looking for, if you are listening and you have access to beta, if you want to come into the CQC, you should hopefully have some of us on your friends list. We are looking to get, so squad up, invite people to your squad. You're better to invite them to groups of four. And then we were looking for, what should we go for, deathmatch or should we go for team matches? What do you reckon? I think we just need to practice, judging by how we did against those pirates. Whatever practice will do. I mean, I think we're going to try a, a team death match. We have uh, our groups of four together and see how that goes. But if it all breaks up and we upset each other, we can always switch to death match. 
Oh, okay, so that is the team, whatever the first thing is, team conflict is the tab that we're looking. So if you guys go on into your beta, get into your stuff. If you want to squad up, squadding up with four people is generally better than three and better than five, six or seven. I'm not sure about eight. If you squad up with eight people, you could jump into deathmatch and you will continually play those eight people in Theory, but we're going to try and do that now. So, in order to make sure that we don't cause issues with the particular terms and conditions of our radio service, I'm going to have to end the broadcast and we are going to jump over onto Twitch now. In the interest of making this easy for you to follow us, we have a multi-twitch available to you, which you can get to by visiting tinyurl.com forward slash hut. CQC H U T C Q C. If you hammer that into your browser magic, then it will take you to the multi stream. All I will advise you is to make sure that you mute at least three of the four that are on there and listen. All the audio should be the same. We are about to go and jump up with the team speaker. Well, before we, do, before we do that, I'm going to cut across you on that one. Um, two little things before we go. I was just going to suggest, well, for the guys on the radio, we're going to jump briefly into the bar, the uh, main team speak channel, and just get the guys to say hi, uh, introduce themselves, and check yep. they're ready. Uh, live on the radio uh, before we cut off the stream and of course we have one more present for you from our dear friend over at Lake on Spaceways we do indeed so we'll just go jump up because I think if you want to join us in TeamSpeak you can it's laveradio.teamspeak3.com you will see the bar somehow we've managed to end up with two bars I'm not quite sure how that's happened but you'll see the one that's got everybody in it alien and home value but we're going to jump up there now and say hello could be this. This is this is the dangerous part because nope, it's okay. Simon Winner's not in there. <laughs> Let's go. I'll just go and chuck you up there, Dave. There you go, and I'm going to come up now. Hello, 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 nothing. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Right, you're live. You're live on the radio, guys. Now, hey. excellent. Yeah. I tried warning them. Please do which, not. Which means Inky. Alien. Which means Inky, be quiet. Inky. Right, um, for the guys listening, do we want to call out anybody, say hi, introduce yourselves if you're going to be in the CQC squads tonight. Uh, if we run down for, well, from the top of the list, if you can see it, guys, just say hi and introduce yourselves very briefly, uh, and whether you're streaming or not. So, Alien, your name starts with A, you're at the top of the list. <laughs> yes, but I wasn't looking at list, I was looking at Elite Dangerous, funnily enough. <laughs> oh, well, you, you could have guessed. Alien! Right. Well, we've done that one, that, that's yeah. Alien. Are you streaming, Alien? I am streaming. Excellent, you're part of the multi-stream. We have Hober Mallow. Hello, Hober. I think he's putting Eldest to bed. Hober, with his voice as soft as sea. He's, he, he's, he's putting his kiss to bed. Like right, we, we have a superstar commentator, Dobbo, who's not, I don't think, joining us in CQC, or are you? Dobbo? I am. I am Ooh. in CQC now, and I'm not streaming. Okay, yes. Uh, sling me a friend request as well, then maybe you'll be joined up with some of our uh, fun and shenanigans. Um, I think we're already friends, but I'll send you an invite then. We also are okay. joined with Eric Markey. Hello, Eric. Hi. Hi, like, hello. How are y'all? I'm very good. To, uh, very, very good indeed. And are you CQC with us this evening? Are you twitching? Are you are you streaming? I am streaming the CQC. I'm ready to kick ass and take names. Fantastic. Let's kick, kick asp. Yeah. <laughs> We've got you as part of our multi-stream as well, so that's good. Galactic Mid. Yeah, and if you uh, if you recognise that voice, all right, how's it going? Um, er Eric, um, very kindly, has been liaison officer with our friends at um, Lake on Spaceways as well. So thank you very much, everybody, Eric, for uh, the good fun on the adverts. You're welcome. I'll pass that on to Buck Naked. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, we have Midden, yes, I saying Midden, are you joining us in some CQC action this evening? Yes, yes, and, and I'm twitching, but not online. I think it's just the sugar in these Jaffa Cakes. Okay. <laughs> we also have Icini. Hello, Icini, how are you? Alright, thank you very much. Are you partaking in some CQC? I might do later if somebody else has problems, but at the moment I'm quite happily doing some mining for the first time. Ooh, are you flying a Lake on Spaceway ship? No, I'm flying a dirt great Asp. Uh, Vantian, friend request in CQC set. 
We're also joined. Oh, we're scared to get people that are muted because they're not going to talk to us. Anyway. We have Mindwipe. Are you? You I've seen you're already in CQC. I know you're there. Do you have streaming capabilities, or are you just going to join in? Oh, I. Uh could stream, but the one thing is my bandwidth is a little low, so I'm going to actually just enjoy some good shooty shooty bang rang. Excellent. We are also joined by the Pope. Hello, um, your um, your Excellency. Your I'm not quite sure how to really address your worshipfulness. I don't know. My name is Pope Mindless, Pope Mushin. Fantastic. Are you dead as you are? Or is he the King of Pope? Oh, no, that was bad. That was, that was worse than one of my puns. That's, that's saying a lot. Um, uh, are you joining yeah, us in CQC I'm this Pope, evening? I'm Pope Mindless in uh, Pope Mindless in the game. Pope Mindless. Good name. It is a good name. Are you joining us in some CQC or are you away doing your own thing just now? Well, I did. I don't think I bought into the right beta access. Or is right. it? Yeah. Okay. So you're, 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 you're stuck at the moment. Well, you do know that it's, yes. uh, it's going to be available to you soon. Very soon. Very soon. We're also joined by Rascon. 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 How are you, sir? Not so bad. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. And are you in CQC at the current moment? Do you have access to beta? I am, yeah, I'm in the main lobby at the moment, if anyone needs me, but I was going to keep an eye on the Twitch streams and see what happens there. No problem. Well, maybe you can be our voice on the Twitch streams whilst we're uh, going live. We might drag you down into one of our, uh, our our group live chat sessions if you've got your eyes on it to see whether it's actually working. Okay, no problem. And we have Texas Stu, another night shift missionary. That didn't sound right, but we'll go with it anyway. Texas Stu, yeah, how are you? In the position. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. Fantastic. And well, someone that we don't really particularly want to meet on an opposing team in CQC is Zafod Beeble. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are, you, are you playing with us this evening or are you not accessing beta? I am playing with you and I am streaming. Excellent. Brilliant news. Well, that's us going through the room then. Um, I think we should... Give out that address one more time if you want to join us, tinyurl.com forward slash hutcqc. What happened there? Who knows? We, ha we, we had a glitch on the actual squad stuff. That's yeah. fine, that's why we're testing it. I can see it now. Um, it started, the sort of menu flickers happened again. So we're going to jump over to the Twitch streams now, guys. So I'm just going to play out with the last advert, and we will catch you over there. tinyurl.com forward slash hut. CQC and we will look forward to either being horrifically destroyed by you or kicking your backsides to the curb. Not an orbital radio. If you think death is unpleasant.
destroyed. You are victorious. Five, four, three, two, one, engage.
destroyed. Under attack.
destroyed. Under attack. Shields online. Target destroyed.
Attack. 